It's already noon today and I'm just getting on the water. I had a lot of chores this morning, but I'm really looking forward to this hunt. Uh, I can hear a thunder and lightning storm headed our way, which would make the second storm I've been caught in this season so far, which means it's been a great season for me. Uh, but we're gonna work our way up this uh, riverbank and up to these little streams over here and hunt as long as we can. And if we have to shelter on site, we'll just shelter out here somewhere. Because I'd like to stay out here probably till about 6 or so tonight, which gives us a good solid 6 hours of hunting. Let's get to it. Look at this beautiful beaver dam here. Wow. This thing is a work of art, isn't it? Well, except for the old tire. Look at that bad boy. It's hardly even leaking. Isn't that cool? It's amazing how these creatures... <laughs> <laughs> These old beer cans. Neato, huh? Oh, wow. These an old turtle shell. Well, they use just anything, don't they? That's a monster. Look at that bad boy. Something was chewing on it there. I wonder if that's what killed it. <laughs> Look at this thing. That's where I wanted to go digging today, up in there. But obviously I'm not gonna be able to. Um, I might be able to get up above it. I'm gonna give that a shot. Isn't that a beautiful dam? Wow, I love seeing stuff like this when I'm out and about. Hope you guys don't mind me sharing it with you. Just noticed too, he put an old jar up in there. I don't think it's too old, but I'm gonna look real close along here and see if he might have put us a Civil World belt buckle up in there or something like that. Let's see where he was dredging along the bottom getting stuff. Here's an old piece of metal he dug up out of the bottom somewhere, I guess. Bunch of mud. He's for patching. Don't see anything too interesting in here. Ooh. I think I know what that is. I don't want to think about that anymore. Um, hmm. Moving on. No, don't see any treasures yet. We'll look right along the top here where we put the mud. It's really sturdy. That's a broken bottle here. Yeah, it's pretty new though. It would have been pretty. It's a nice green color. I mean, if that would have been whole, I'd keep it. Some more beer bottles. Plastic there. Not sure what kind of beer this is. Old German, I guess. Well, it just says German. It's probably predecessor to Old German, I guess, but I could be wrong there. Yeah, I don't see anything too interesting up here. All right, let's go digging. Well, I'm still here in the beaver backwater, but the storm's getting a little close. Uh, I just had a huge lightning bolt crash about 2,000 feet from me which is way too close when you're out and about in the water like this. I just dug this fired round ball. So I'm hopeful we might be in an area where we'll be finding some more stuff. And we'll keep moving on up this little creek right here as soon as the storm gets a little bit further away. I don't think it's really gonna rain much. It just sprinkled a little so far, but I think it's off to our north just a little bit. Just found this neat area here. Looks like this is where the telegraph insulators come to die. Looks like a whole one, but there's a whole bunch of them in here. There's one there, got a chip in it. And uh, some clear ones there. There's a, I don't see one like that. I guess that's a porcelain one. Yeah, broken. Most of the ones I've seen have been broken. There's another one there, all up the bank. But I saw them in the water when I first got here. They're all over the place. But most of them are broken, so I'm, I'm figuring that they've been picked over in the past. I don't see any more whole ones. Oh well. Kind of neat though. But yeah, I came across here and there's a bunch of them out there. There I might be a whole one there. Yeah, that's a whole one. Don't have one like that. That's kind of different looking. Must be a newer one though. Really light. Yeah, I'll go ahead and save the whole thing. Just for the heck of it. Okay, I'll look around some more. If I see anything really amazing, I'll turn the camera back on. 
I had to leave the beaver backwater and I came to a different spot. This is an area I've hunted before. In fact, I made a video here a few years ago called Three Silvers in One Day. Now, I'm really excited because this year's uh, floods have really changed the area a lot. You can see how all these trees and channels have been cut over there through the islands and it's totally changed this area. These rocks right here are part of the ford that came up out of the river. And I don't know if you remember the, in the other video that I made, you can see it wasn't cut out quite as much here. And this area down through here where the ford was has totally changed now. You can see there's new holes have been cut. There's no water flowing through here. And just looks a lot different than it did, you know, a year ago. So I'm really excited about looking around here. Again, I have found a lot of silver coins and Civil War bullets right in this area. So we'll give it a quick shot. There's a big piece of iron there. That's some type of giant hinge. I don't really see anything on the surface like coins or, or buttons or anything, but there's a lot, of, a lot of iron here. So we'll be hearing that for sure. Let's get the machine out. Dig some silver, what do you think? Or at least some uh, Civil War bullets or something. I'm gonna pile the iron up right there for now. All right, let's get to it. Here's my first good signal right here. Pick back. Jumping around a little bit. Let's go ahead and see if we can just find it with a pin pointer. I don't think it's going to be too deep. Unfortunately, I didn't bring my sugar cam with me, so I have to dig with one hand. I don't think it'd be much below that mud. Yeah, it won't be any deeper than that. See, we've hit the hard pack clay right there. So let's get the pin pointer out. Right in here somewhere. Yeah, I thought it was a hot rock for a minute, but it isn't. Yep, piece of iron. That is like a link out of a chain or something. Not too exciting, but that's probably why we weren't getting a good solid reading on it, but it was squeaking high because of that, that oval shape. Anything oval around, even though it's iron, will give a, usually give a decent signal. I'm seeing some dig holes around here. In fact, I just passed one right there, so I'm not the first one here this season. I do have a really nice high squeak right here. It sounds like a little silver piece. Look at that. Can you tell it's small? It's reading real high. I'm hoping it's a little dime or half dime, like I found in the other video that I made here not long ago. We're right on the hard pan here, so I don't think it'll be very deep. I guess we're going to have to get the pin pointer out because there's no current. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, it should be right on the surface. There she is. Hopefully, hopefully we can get her. This isn't easy to do with one hand, is it? Yeah, it's a little bit buried. I'm gonna have to move a couple of rocks. God, it's right there though. Yeah, we got it. Ah, it's a coin. It's modern now. Yeah, I think that's a modern quarter. That's a shame. Let's see what she is. Yeah. Modern quarter. Nah, that's a jeez. <laughs> it's a standard liberty, so not really that modern, I guess. Nice! Silver! Alright, let's see if there's any more here and any my little buddy missed. As you can tell, you can see it's uh, right down to the clay bedrock here. So anything we see over here is going to be very shallow. Excellent. Let's get back at it. Alright, this is it for me today. I didn't make it till 6. Um, got a little bored for some reason, although I did find a fair amount of stuff. This is my junk pile here. Here's some sinkers and odds and ends. Got this nice big old chunk of lead. Don't know what that's all about. You can see it's been hacked on by Hatcher or something. This is a little cold cream container or something. It's probably 1950s, but I'm going to keep it for now. My best find is the Standing Liberty Quarter. I'm not sure what the date is yet. And I also found a little nickel. That's a five cent piece. It's, uh, I believe, a shield nickel. Really rough shape. Got some bullets, one Civil War mini ball, some fired round balls, these little modern 22s and maybe a 32 or 38 or something. 
Just a bunch of little bullets. This is a reed out of a musical instrument, maybe a harmonica. A couple of scrap pieces of brass. I don't know what they are. This might be a bullet that they made into a sinker. I'm not sure. You can see they split the side, so they put the string in. It's not a normal split shot anyway. And there's a little fishy. That's an old lure. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Had a good day. It was fun being out here. Uh, I just didn't find as much as I had hoped I'd find. The beaver dam kind of messed me up a little bit. But it was a beautiful area down through there. And uh, you can see the bubbles on the water where I came up through. And uh, I'm sure I missed some stuff. And we'll come back another day, maybe, in another five or ten years. <laughs> I'm tired of this place. Let's go find someplace new. Until then.